Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, go hey. So in today's video, today to today, I'm making room sprays. I'm making nine room sprays for a farmer's market I'm doing, as well as making some sample room sprays for the same farmer's market. So I'm super excited. I'm not just gonna be doing my top three scents in the sample little ones. I'm gonna be doing um, several scents that I have so that people will be able to uh, know what the candles smell like um, prior to purchase, you know, because just sniffing it isn't enough. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for the video. I'm super excited to do this, you know. This is a really great video. If you're watching this, um, I have already went to the farmer's market and I can't wait to tell you how it goes. Like this is, I've never been this excited for an event and I looked at the map because they give you a vendor placement map and I'm super excited about where I am. I've been to this market four times already. And I always get a good spot. And this time, it's, I feel like it's even better. <laughs> and I'm so freaking excited because I'm coming prepared. Like, typically I just bring a little bit of stuff and I'm bringing room sprays, a bougie, err. But yeah, I'm about to make them right now and show y'all my whole process and just chat with y'all about the market. So just enjoy this chit chat slash make room sprays with me video. Okay, first I start by picking out my fragrances for the amazing scents, guys. These were a hit at the farmer's market. I just recently did, so I definitely encourage you to try this recipe. But I begin with measuring out all of the ingredients. From there, I carefully and slowly stir this entire mixture while smelling it the entire time because I'm eager to know how it smells even though I know already how it smells. Next, we move on to jars. These jars were a hit at the farmer's market. Oh my god, this matte black jar, four ounces. You can get it on Amazon. And I just carefully pour with this funnel pitcher. Slow and steady wins the race. And you can't see this right here, but I'm measuring out exactly four ounces because every person deserves only four ounces of this amazing secret sauce. I honestly feel like I undercharged at the farmer's market I just did. But guys, for real, you need to make room sprays. If you want to have a successful candle business, you need to have room sprays. I know it sounds weird because I want to sell my candles. But people buy your scents if they can distinctively smell them. And the best way to have that hot throat preview is through room spray. So take my word for it. With this recipe, I had enough for two large room sprays and then one sample. So that's what I was pouring here. When I tell you less is more when it comes to the sample bottles, I'll link all of this down below. But the sample bottles will spill. I spilled like five of them. Five out of ten I spilled. So go slow or else you're going to be like me.
Next, we're moving on to the second recipe. So this one was also a hit at the farmer's market. This is my Woodland Wonder scent. I would recommend, make sure your scents uh, names sound like what they are. I was thinking sandalwood, so I went woodland, but sandalwood is like a almond scent, whereas wood sounds like a pine scent. So false advertising, miscommunication. I want to let you know if you're going to do this recipe, which will be on my Patreon, make sure that you call it something like uh, vanilla e, not something piney, because it doesn't have any pine in it. It tastes, it's not, it doesn't taste, it smells heavenly. Your customers will love you with this amazing scent. With this recipe, I was able to make three full-size four-ounce room sprays, which I was super excited about. As I mentioned before, slow and steady wins the race. I was slowly pouring it and calculating along the way, making sure it was at a good four ounces. And I still had enough for samples. I think I made about two samples. But she's from Nicaragua I thought you was Persian love Are we turning up? Are we wasting time? Girl, don't waste my time No, party I don't just wanna chill Next, we're moving on to the last recipe And I always start with the distilled water and then I move in to the additional ingredients. So with this one, it was another popular one. Like I thought people would hate it because it has cashmere musk in it, you know? A cashmere musk smells like, to me, white diamond of fragrance from grandma fragrances, you know? But then my recipes, because your girl has that splat, that pusha, I always make stuff smell good. I threw in additional ingredients there just because, you know, I am that girl. So I started with cashmere musk, but then I was like, this has to smell like fire. So I think I added in heavenly scent, which is an, um, similar to a heavenly perfume that you may have gotten in the past from like Kmart, <laughs> if you remember that. Um, and then I added the Abercrombie and Fitch. I just did my big one with this scent and I'm really proud of it. And it was a bestseller, my recent farmer's market.
Next, we're moving on to the fourth and final scent. And when I tell you I feel robbed, I feel robbed. I feel like these scents smell so freaking good. And people just bought them like crazy at this farmer's market. I'm like, wow, I really got to keep doing this and up my prices. Like, a lot of people sell the room sprays for $15. So I sold mine for $15. But I'm like, $15 does not seem like a lot for what they're getting. I feel like I should start selling them for like $20 because what? They like this is a lot of work and they smell so freaking good, you know. <laughs> but this last scent was I sold out. I don't even have any more, so I'm gonna have to remake it. And it's so crazy how many I made, and then they sold out within like a few hours at a farmer's market. Like, how cool is that? But I think it is really cool. I'd rather at least some people get them than to put them online and then you have to wait like a week or two for them to sell out. And you know, we need our money on time, so to get the money in advance was a blessing, and then. Here, I'm just carefully pouring because it's like slow and steady wins the race. And yeah, I poured three of these beautiful fragrance room sprays. Next, we're moving on to the labels. So I use Canva. It's completely free or you can use their $12 option. I never really need it, but I still have it. And yeah, I'm just repurposing my labels for my candles because this focus for this uh company my company is brand continuity so if you have a candle you really want to have a medium and large size candle of one cent and you want to make sure that you incorporate additional options like a wax melt of that as well as a room spray of that so that's what i did here with every one of these scents i had these three cents incorporated the wax melt in the room spray As you can see, I just went back and forth from my website to Canva to incorporate actual descriptions on the room sprays because I saw another cannabis owner who had room sprays. They actually add the description of the room spray on there instead of it just being you know the room spray and I think that's helpful for me too because sometimes I'll make these bomb scents but then you'll go in public at a event and the people are like what are the notes and I don't remember it by heart because it's a lot to remember so having it there I'm able to read off of that and then people will literally tell you stuff that they actually smell and then I'm looking at the notes I'm like girl yeah that's right there like it's right there you are absolutely right and it's really helpful so that's what I was doing here just copy and paste and then I magic writ written out a name for my new scent that I created. I created a new scent with Abercrombie and Fitch. So I was just um, trying to get Magic Right to help me. And it said Sandalwood Escape and I love that. So that's what it was called. Escape is like the perfect thing for, you know, snow and fall. I don't want it to sound like Christmas. I don't want it to sound like fall. I want it to sound like winter. And Sandalwood Escape sounds like winter to me. So then I created this background. This background was cute, but I made it even cuter.
After I printed everything, I went ahead and applied all of the room spray labels and the biggest challenge I had was with the samples. So the samples were like, the texture of them is too soft for stickers. So I couldn't use that for that. So yeah, now I know to not do that. But yeah, it was super fun to do this. Um, room sprays are 100% going to be your best seller. Whatever you go, whatever you do, people love room sprays. Because what happens with the room spray is that it's an activity. They get to spritz, spritz it. But beyond that, it's this experience of immediate fragrance. Typically with a candle, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour for you to get that scent. But with a fragrance oil, oh my God, and you spray it, it's immediately. So I'm super excited. Um, just making these scents, I just had this feeling. I was like, this is going to do well. And you know, I went to my farmer's market and people sold me out of fragrances. Room sprays, like it was ridiculous. This girl bought two. She don't ever even buy from me. I, I go to this market all the time. Sometimes she just come to my table and be like window shopping. Today she gave in and bought two room sprays. I'm like, yeah, girl, get your money. I mean, get your room spray, make your house smell good. And I was just telling her about set the move, get your man, you know, get how you live. I was doing some ghetto right here because like my printer had some white splotches in the black part of his label. So I added in some Sharpie marker here because I'm ghetto sometimes.
and that was real, real hard, y'all. I'm gonna tie. You know, the cutest little beautiful things you think is gonna be so easy, be so hard. But I'm so happy I did it. It's gonna be such a hit. I already know it. Like, come on, look at this. Look how cute this is. Like. Okay, I wanted to show y'all final pictures, but I didn't take them, and I sold out of them. So here I am just showing you me at the farmer's market. As you can see, the room sprays weren't even in the front. It was in the back, and they all got sold. I sold 12 room sprays, and I feel proud of it. But if you want the recipes, they're on my Patreon. So just sign up for Patreon in the description. And if you need help with your farmer's market, stay tuned until tomorrow. I'm posting a farmer's market vlog to get you together.